Business is business, folks. America is not a charity to the dismay of the liberal left. Finally, we have a president who is treating our country and our economy as a business and not a charity. Last week, I predicted Mexico would relent to the weight of possible pounding a tariff war would inflict on Mexico. As our third largest trading partner, Mexico had to relent to President Trump's demand that they tighten up their side of the southern border or else. Wisely, they did just that. Trump can now add another win to the scoreboard. Canada, win. The European Union, win. Mexico, win now. Soon, China will come to their senses and drop their tariffs to U.S. exporters, or they will be brought to their knees just like Mexico. America has an $800 billion trade deficit with the world. That means we spend $800 billion in other countries more than they spend here in essence, we are the biggest and the best customer to the rest of the world. They better start treating us like their best customer, not some walker by looking to buy a bag of peanuts. China, $636 billion in trade with us. Canada, $582 billion in trade with us. Mexico, $557 billion in trade with the U.S., all at risk. Trust me again, folks, they all will succumb to Trump's trade deals. Now, that is a huge boost to our economy. By the way, those figures represent just one year. That's a ton of commerce they won't risk losing. Finally, we have a president who realizes the potent negotiating tool our buying power is around the world. We've had too many presidents who weren't smart enough or have enough guts to use it the way Trump does. We've bowed down to China as they taxed our manufacturers and farmers to death while we give them a free ride over our borders. Hundreds of billions of dollars worth of imbalance drains our producers year after year until Trump came along and said, no more, no mas. That will end. Not Obama, not Bush, not Clinton, not the other Bushy, not Ford, not Carter. Has a U.S. president understood that and used our economy for our benefit? Hell, Obama went so far as to apologize for a successful economy and military kind of like the damn snowflakes complaining about our U.S. women's soccer team winning 13 to nothing over Thailand in the World Cup. Screw that. We should have beat them 20 to nothing. Why do we hold back so much? In sports, winning is everything. No other reason to play the damn game, in my opinion. Well, guess what? Same in business. The name of the game is the same. Hit them hard when they get up. Hit them again harder until they come to our terms, Trump's terms, the United States terms. Now you know why I backed Donald Trump the candidate and stayed with him uninterrupted until now. Now you know why it pisses me off when loudmouth pundits, hosts, and anchors pretend to be on the Trump train. The same ones who blasted me for seeing the brilliance of having a businessman as a commander in chief. P.S. Folks, you know who you are, guys. Just come clean. You're wrong, and America is winning again.